After weeks of speculation, the long-awaited IRA ceasefire was finally announced this morning. Just after 11 o'clock at a location in central Dublin, an IRA intermediary handed RTE News a copy of the statement plus a cassette, outlining the details of the ceasefire which comes into effect from midnight tonight. The 300-word statement says that recognizing the potential of the current situation and in order to enhance the democratic peace process, they have decided that as of midnight tonight, there will be a complete cessation of military operations and that all IRA units have been instructed accordingly. The statement goes on to talk about the historic crossroads which has now been reached and salutes the various members of the Republican movement who have been involved in the struggle for the past 25 years. It goes on to say that following the gains which have been made by nationalists, the IRA believes an opportunity to secure a just and lasting settlement has been created. It says the Downing Street Declaration was not a solution and that a solution will only be found as a result of inclusive negotiations and adds that others, not least the British government, have a duty to face up to their responsibilities. A cassette of the statement was also handed over. We are therefore entering into a new situation in a spirit of determination and confidence. Determined that the injustices which created this conflict will be removed and confident in the strength and justice of our struggle to achieve this. The IRA spokesperson goes on to talk about their desire to contribute to the peace process. It is our desire to significantly contribute to the creation of a climate which will encourage this. We urge everyone to approach this new situation with energy, determination and patience. There was no analysis or additional information given with the statement. The intermediary said its message was meant to be clear and unambiguous. But tonight, the London government, unionist representatives and others are asking the key question, does a complete cessation of military operations mean a permanent ceasefire? It remains to be seen if the IRA will give this clarification.